Chimpanzee and bonobo, humans and chimpanzees, share an absurd 98.8% of their DNA. That's not distant relative territory. That's identical twin with a bad haircut. In fact, if you look at their genome, the difference between us and chimps is smaller than the difference between some species of whales. We didn't evolve from chimps. We share a common ancestor about six to seven million years ago. Basically, we're siblings who took different career paths. Humans went corporate, chimps went feral. What's weirder is bonobos, the other chimp branch. They're equally close to us, same DNA percentage, but with totally different personalities. Chimps are warlike, violent, and territorial. Bonobos solve everything with affection. Let's just say they're the hippies of the ape world. Scientists joke that chimps show what humans could be at their worst, and bonobos show what we'd be if every argument ended in a cuddle instead of a lawsuit. We share almost every major genetic blueprint for muscles, neurons, emotions, and even social hierarchy. Chimps recognize themselves in mirrors, plan for the future, and make tools. The biggest difference? A few regulatory genes that tweaked our brain development, turning forest geniuses into spacefaring, phone-addicted geniuses. So next time you look in the mirror, remember, you're basically a slightly hairless chimp who pays taxes. Gorilla. Humans share 98.4% of their DNA with gorillas, which makes sense. Because if you've ever seen a bodybuilder grunt at the gym mirror, you're basically witnessing evolutionary deja vu. Gorillas are the gentle giants of the primate world, strong enough to crush a coconut with one hand, but usually too chill to bother. Their DNA overlaps so closely with ours that we share the same number of chromosomes and even diseases like colds and heart problems. The difference lies in how genes are expressed. Our brains got the upgrade, their muscles got the premium plan. A gorilla's strength isn't about bulk, it's about muscle fiber density. Pound for pound, they're estimated to be six times stronger than us. They also share our emotional architecture, grief, laughter, even empathy. Captive gorillas have been known to mourn lost companions, use tools, and learn sign language. One famous gorilla, Coco, learned over a thousand signs and even expressed humor and sadness, proving that gorillas don't just resemble us genetically, they feel like us too. If evolution were a video game, gorillas are basically the tank build. Humans just spexed all their points into speech and Wi-Fi. All right, I will be posting more videos here. So slam that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. This helps us to rank better in the YouTube algorithm. Orangutan. With 96.9% shared DNA, orangutans are our thoughtful, introverted cousins, the ones who'd rather build a treehouse than go to a party. They're the most solitary of all the great apes, preferring quiet forest lives to chaotic social groups. But don't let that fool you. They're geniuses. Orangutans use tools, solve puzzles, and even plan for the future. In captivity, they've been known to unscrew bolts, unlock cages, and sometimes disassemble their enclosures just to see how they work. Their DNA similarity means they share many of our metabolic and neurological traits, even susceptibility to diseases like diabetes. But where we evolved to run marathons, orangutans evolved to chill. They move deliberately to conserve energy, crafting elaborate sleeping nests every night from branches and leaves. Their reddish fur and soulful expressions make them eerily human. You can almost see the thought process in their eyes, as if they're quietly judging us for ruining the planet they still live in responsibly. Humans and orangutans split evolutionarily around 12 to 14 million years ago, but genetically, we're still practically siblings. The main difference is that orangutans didn't invent TikTok, and honestly, that might make them the smarter species. Domestic cat. Your fluffy little cat at home? It shares 90% of your DNA, which means your genes aren't that different from a creature that thinks your laptop is a bed and your leg is a scratching post. Cats and humans have shockingly similar gene structures, including the ones controlling neurological development, metabolism, and vision. The similarities are so deep that scientists use cats to study diseases like leukemia and AIDS. The real difference 
is behavior. Where humans evolved cooperative societies, cats evolved independence and manipulation. They domesticated us, not the other way around. Their evolutionary journey started about 10,000 years ago when wildcats realized hanging around human grain stores meant free food. And we realized we'd rather have cats than rats. Our DNA even codes for similar sleep cycles and stress hormones, which might explain why both species enjoy ignoring responsibility and napping all day. So, yes, your cat is genetically close enough to you to share diseases, moods, and maybe even disdain for mornings. But while 90% of our DNA overlaps, the remaining 10% is pure chaos. That's the part that makes them bite you mid-cuddle. Evolution's reminder that similarity doesn't mean sanity. Dog. Humans and dogs share between 84 to 94% of their DNA, depending on the breed, which, considering our bond, kind of makes sense. Dogs are basically emotional extensions of ourselves. Genetically, dogs evolved from wolves about 30,000 years ago, but human selection transformed them from apex predators into couch potatoes with separation anxiety. We share key genes related to oxytocin, the love hormone. That's why both species get a chemical happiness boost from eye contact. It's a literal biological feedback loop of affection. We also share overlapping immune and neurological genes, making dogs prone to similar diseases like cancer and epilepsy. They even dream like we do, twitching paws, chasing imaginary squirrels. But evolution gave dogs something extra, the ability to read our emotions better than almost any other animal. They understand human gestures, tone, and even fake crying. Some scientists think dogs co-evolved with us, adapting their social DNA alongside ours. So yeah, dogs aren't man's best friend by coincidence. There are part-time emotional therapists and full-time freeloaders, forged in the same genetic furnace that made humans crave love and loyalty. Cow. Surprise. Humans and cows share about 80% of their DNA. That's right. You're genetically closer to a cow than to most plants you eat. Our shared genes include ones related to cell function, immune systems, and milk production. That overlap is why cows are such valuable models for human biology and medicine. Even insulin production was tested in cattle long before lab-grown alternatives existed. Cows and humans both evolved as social mammals, capable of emotional bonding and memory. Studies show cows recognize faces, hold grudges, and mourn lost companions. The uncomfortable irony? We share all that and still turn them into cheeseburgers. Genetically, cows are distant cousins who got trapped in our agricultural revolution. Over 10,000 years, selective breeding reshaped them into docile, milk-producing machines at the cost of wild instinct and survival skills. Our 80% shared DNA built two wildly different fates. One species controls the planet, the other gets turned into dinner. Evolution's funny like that. It doesn't play favorites, just genomes and consequences. Mouse. Humans and mice share between 67 to 85% of their DNA, which is why we've made them our stand-in for almost every lab experiment. At the cellular level, mice are freakishly similar to us, from how their cells divide to how their brains release dopamine. They even share nearly identical gene sequences for heart function, metabolism, and neural wiring. That's why they're perfect models for studying human diseases. Cancer, Alzheimer's, diabetes, mice get them all, just like us. Sorry, little dudes, but evolution took us in wildly different directions. Where humans evolved intelligence and speech, mice evolved reproduction and adaptability. A single pair can produce hundreds of offspring a year, ensuring survival by quantity over quality. They're also incredible survivors, small, sneaky, and genetically flexible. Humans need electricity, Wi-Fi, and emotional support. Mice just need crumbs and a dark corner. We may share DNA, but their version of civilization fits inside your pantry. Evolutionarily speaking, they're proof that success isn't about brains. It's about breeding fast and stealing snacks. Chicken. Similar. Zero chill. Humans and chickens share about 60 to 75% of their DNA, 
which is alarming when you realize that makes them closer relatives than most of your coworkers. Our genes for bone structure, immune response, and metabolism are remarkably similar, which is why chickens are used to study viruses, vaccines, and even muscle development. Chickens also have surprisingly complex brains. They dream, recognize faces, and form social hierarchies. Their DNA includes neural traits linked to problem solving, though most prefer solving how to get more corn. The weirdest part, chickens are dinosaurs, literally. Their closest living ancestor is the T-Rex. Genetic analysis shows overlapping bone and collagen genes. So when you eat chicken nuggets, you're technically eating a descendant of the king of the dinosaurs. That 60 to 75% shared DNA isn't just biological trivia, it's evolutionary poetry. We and chickens split paths 300 million years ago and both ended up building societies. Ours has Wi-Fi. Theirs has pecking orders. Fruit fly. You and a fruit fly share about 60% of your DNA, which should make you rethink every time you've swatted one away. Fruit flies, Drosophila melanogaster, have been used in genetics for over a century because they share so many of our fundamental genes, especially those controlling development, circadian rhythm, and brain chemistry. They have about 14,000 genes, and more than 9,000 have direct human equivalents. Genes that cause Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, and even cancer show up in flies too. Scientists can literally turn human genes on and off inside them to test treatments. Despite that, fruit flies live only about 40 days. Evolution gave them warp speed life cycles so we could learn from them. The universe's smallest lab assistants, their simplicity hides elegance. They can learn, remember, and adapt within hours. Some researchers call them tiny people with wings. So yeah, the next time a fruit fly lands in your drink, remember, that's 60% you trying to get back to its evolutionary roots. Sweet, fermented chaos. Zebrafish? At first glance, the zebrafish doesn't look like a relative. But genetically, we share about 70% of our DNA and over 80% of genes linked to human disease. They're transparent when young which lets scientists literally watch organs form in real time. Their genes control the same processes that shape our hearts, eyes, and nervous systems. Zebrafish can regenerate tissue, fins, heart muscle, even parts of their brain. Humans lost that ability somewhere along the way, probably in exchange for bigger egos. Scientists are studying zebrafish regeneration to figure out how to unlock our own healing potential. Their DNA helped unravel genetic diseases, immune responses, and how addiction rewires the brain. And while they look like harmless aquarium fish, they're quietly shaping medicine's future. They're proof that evolution didn't just recycle DNA, it perfected it, reused it, and reshuffled it across species until we all became one interconnected experiment. So, next time you stare into a fish tank, you're not just seeing fish you're seeing a tiny mirror of yourself swimming through 500 million years of shared history. If you've watched to this point, slam that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. This helps us to rank better in the YouTube algorithm.